Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm just going to throw out a quick warning. I sound a bit rough. I look a bit rough. I have literally just come back um, literally this morning from Mallorca and I was ill the whole time I was in Mallorca and I've come back and it's even worse and I yeah I just look a mess okay but I really wanted to get filming some videos for you guys. A level biology. Now, a lot of you have probably clicked on this video because you literally feel like A level biology is your absolute worst nightmare, and I don't blame you. Um, if you watched my past video, you will have seen that I fortunately did get three A stars in my A levels. I did biology, maths, and psychology, um, and I did also get an A in my EPQ as well. But yes, I know that. A level biology is very very difficult for a lot of you and I know that it is a subject that people struggle with and I thought since I did get the A star and you guys seem to absolutely love when I do like revision tips and you're constantly asking me for tips that I thought why not just give you a whole video about how it is that I got an A star in biology. So just a little like intro into biology it is a hard subject and it is because all sciences are hard okay do not be fooled by that every single science is hard and i feel like people go into a level having loved doing science in gcse and want to do a science for a level then they think oh physics and chemistry are hard so i'll do biology when biology is just as difficult that is okay it is a doable subject it is just getting those little hacks, tips and tricks. But I would say my first thing is you need to make sure you know the specification inside and out. If you are looking at me and I don't know, you're starting year 13 and you've not once looked at the specification, it's not too late, but you need to print it off. Print it off. You should be red, amber, green in every single bullet point. If you read a bullet point on your specification and you are like, I don't know what that is, that is an issue. You need to star it and make sure that you go over that content because I promise you, learning the spec for a course, no matter what course you're doing, is the most vital thing ever. Now, I think once, like one thing with my A level biology, which makes it difficult and also can make the specification really hard to understand, is how goddamn specific the content is. We all know that. A level biology has so much content and when you break it down the actual content to understand is not any more difficult to what you would have found in GCSE when learning something new it's like you learning something new every single time it will take you a couple of like tries to understand it but once you've got it you've got it the only issue is with A level biology is the exams and mark schemes are so so specific to the point that it almost feels impossible that you can't express your understanding in the way that you want to express it because the exam board requires a different method. By the way, I did AQA. So these are kind of more like AQA specific mark, like uh, tips, but I'm sure you can generalize it. So my 100% thing is when you're writing your notes and collecting resources, you need to be making them specific two mark schemes so this is going to come with practice and you're not going to be able to like be writing mark scheme answers the first week of year 12 it's going to be something that you need to do over and over again um to do that you literally need to be doing as many exam questions as you possibly can and learn what the six mark answers is for that process for example dna replication you might understand it to the T of every detail, but there's only six points at the end of the day that they're going to be after, and it will be the same six points every single time. So if you can learn those basic points and methods and making sure you're writing down the key words, that is genuinely the best. That is the, what is going to get you the marks. I literally cannot stress it enough. You can have all the knowledge in the world of the whole specification, but if you do not write your answers to the mark scheme, you will not get the marks. And I think there is so many ways that you can get around that. And one is doing every single exam question to death. It is the 100% the best revision method for A-level biology is you should have run out of exam questions to do by the time you go to do your exams. You should be completely drained of exam questions. Okay, I need to stop rambling about exam questions because I feel like I literally have been going on about 
how much the mark schemes are so specific for so long that I essentially wasted half this video. Okay, so moving on from exam questions, my next one kind of ties in. I think also, as much as I have just said, you can understand it, but if you don't get the mark scheme answers down, you're not gonna get the marks. I think when it comes to A-levels, the differences between GCSEs is the understanding part of the course, which I do think a lot of people become scared of. I actually do believe that GCSEs, um, looking back at it now, is a case of memory. It is a memorising qualification. You need to memorise it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there is so many different facts and things that you could probably get away with not really even diving, diving deep into. You could just mem memorise the basics and that would get you top marks. A-levels is not like that. If anything, the specification gives you such a basic outline and it's your job to delve deeper yourself without any sort of aid and being able to consolidate every single point that you do in class is will be so powerful. Like I think the difference between memorising and fully understanding and consolidating I think is the difference between a B and an A star. Like I genuinely do think you could probably easily get a B and like maybe just scrape an A with just the memorization. Um, and if that's what you're after, then fair enough. Like if you, all you need is like a B, then you can get by by doing that. But if you want to get that A star, you really need to be delving deep into what it, why exactly is this process this way? And like, you, you can't just be, overviewing everything you need to really go into detail you should be asking questions beyond what you're taught you should be asking what's next and it's that type of interest and that detail that will make you get a better understanding will make you be able to hit the mark scheme answers and include valid like key points um more often and that is what's going to get you the a star marks like I promise you. Methods I used to make sure that I did have a greater understanding and consolidated my revision notes is diagrams are an amazing thing because if you can draw out a diagram of a process and label it or not even put labels on and you just have the picture and be able to speak the process out loud I think that is a brilliant way of correlating that to your brain and making sure you have a visual understanding of what the process is that you're talking about in A-level biology. Um, anything like metaphors. Um, metaphors you need to be careful when you're using. So if you remember something to be similar to something else in your everyday life, that is really useful because um, it helps us like correlate something to what we already know so you're more likely to memorise it. But anything about just blurting or getting a visual diagram will 100% help you understand. And do not be scared, like I said, to ask questions further. Like, why is it that the, how, like, even how is it that an enzyme's active site can change space, like, change shape? What is it about that that makes it be able to morph into something different? Like, that is beyond the specification point, but that is the kind of things that will make you get that eight star. So, my next point, moving on, I literally have five points. So, we're on number four right now is you need to make sure you build gap, you're gathering more reliable sources. Um, I found that my most useful source was my teacher. Like, I know that not in every single school um, has the same sort of teaching as like I would have, because I am quite fortunate to go to a really nice school. I, I mean, I'm not private, I go to a public school, but I am quite lucky that my school is quite high in the rankings for the UK. And yeah, my most reliable source was in fact my teacher. The way that she wrote down and taught me everything, I if I wrote that out in my exam, it was top marks, like to the point. So I think you just need to be careful because if you just rely on one source, for example, physics and maths tutor, that might be so good as like a recap or to compare to your current notes. But if you just rely on that, you're not gonna be getting the kind of vocabulary down that you're gonna need to be able to get top marks in your exams. So textbooks, make sure that you have uh, textbooks that are accredited by your exam board. So I know that the Oxford textbook is the one that I used um, right up until my exam. And that was the most reliable one for me. And that was AQA accredited. Um, and yeah, again, have about four sources and completely contrast and compare them to see how different people word them and whether you can pick up some more knowledge from different sets of notes, if that makes sense. 
And number five, like this is probably the most important thing I've ever said, is blurting. Other than exam questions, blurting is probably going to be your best friend coming up to exams. I strongly believe that if me and my friend Lex hadn't sat in my room and blurted the whole biology course for about four or five hours the day before my exam, I wouldn't know when they got the A star. Like I know that's such a bold statement, but it's so true. Speaking out loud to someone and bouncing off someone else, like your friends who also do the same subject, will save your life like will actually save your life um at the end of the day when you get to like january onwards from year 13 your best friends who do the same course as you is just as good as a textbook like i genuinely stand by that you need to be using other people and other people's understanding knowledge um even the way that other people memorize things you can learn from and i think as much as like the the peers in your class are your competition at the end of the day you should not neglect them they will help you millions and at the end of the day i think a level biology is one of those subjects that is definitely a group subject it's a team you will work better in a team than individual um for example like i think maths is a really really individual subject like you can't really gain off anyone else as much as you could biology um but yeah so overall mark scheme answers and exam questions will be your absolute best friend they are the only way that you're going to be able to change from an a to an a star i genuinely believe that is memorizing the keywords definitions looking at mark schemes looking at your specification comparing your resources making sure you have reliable sources go to your teachers all the time um delve deeper into that understanding read further articles ask questions why this why that why does this happen you need to be delving deeper into those type of questions and yeah just have fun talk to your friends about it make little study groups and enjoy what you're studying because the content you learn in A-Level Biology is so so fascinating and I would hate for the stress of your exams to ruin the fact that it is truly a beautiful subject to learn and be a part of. Um, so yeah, have fun, enjoy yourself. At the same time, A-Levels can be stressful. They can also be absolutely magical that you are learning something new. But yeah, I am going to leave this video here. It is a bit of a short one for me because I did just want it to be short, snappy. Um, me rambling on about sort of like what I believe are the best methods for you guys to achieve your A star in biology. Honestly, good luck. If you're going into year 13 this year, just go in it running. Go in there running, hit the floor running and you will be fine. You need to get on with your revision learn from your friends ask your teacher questions and i'm sure you'll be just as successful as i was um but yeah i good luck to all of you i really hope you did enjoy the video and that it has helped you um i really do hope that it has helped you and i haven't just rambled on for nothing um but yeah i'll see you next time with another video